someone who used to weigh 330 pounds, I can tell you that my deepest fear has been confirmed that, that skinny privilege is a thing. Dirty looks when I was out in public, feeling judged, feeling like everything I ate or everything I wore was scrutinized. Felt so judged just for leaving the house and existing in the world. Existing in this world that I feel like just will not accommodate you. Restaurant booths, airplane seats, amusement parks, being judged by doctors, having medical equipment not accommodate you. Movie what are you expecting? Like, we obviously live in a world that's very physically oriented. You have to navigate the world that's already set in place. But for some reason, people think that the world should be built for you. Not even, like, you in a in a very general sense. But, like, you particularly. Like, you specifically. Like, the world itself should be made for solely me. And if it isn't made for solely me, therefore, it is wrong. It's just bullshit. Like, you guys don't understand that the world was here way before you were here. And the world's going to be here way after you're here. So, when you're sitting here and you're, co you're proclaiming that chairs don't fit you or the doc the doctor's office chairs don't fit you or the doctor's being mean to you because he told you that you're fat and high blood pressure is obviously not good for you because your blood is like circulating through your fucking veins at literally like i don't know a millimeter a second like you're literally your blood is so thick that you're moving literal bricks through it and you're upset by that well i'm sorry you're just retarded like there's nothing else to say about it than that i understand that you think that it's unfortunate when you go outside and somebody sees that you're fat and a little child looks at you and goes oh my god that shit is big as fuck i understand that that's terrible i understand that you think that's awful but you have to understand also it's not good to be fat it's not good to be overweight it's not a good thing to be in a higher body fat percentage consistently it, it might be okay if you're bulking and you're gonna like eventually slim down i'm not even necessarily saying it's a bad thing either if you're like 10 20 30 40 pounds over like that might not even be that bad i know people that are literally chilling at like six foot four that are guys that are well over 200 pounds they look great they're fine they're good looking guys right but i just really hate this idea that people nowadays have to be accommodated across the spectrum because if, if we don't then otherwise i'm being oppressed you're not being oppressed the only thing that's oppressing you is gravity i'm sorry that the rules of thermodynamics exist and that people are going to judge you based off the way that you look that's just how it is man i'm sorry to say that when you look a particular type of way people are going to judge you for that dude whatever theaters public transportation not overweight my whole like you do, like these people don't seem to realize that like in public transportation dude like we're building these things for the majority of people we're trying to accommodate as many people as humanly possible um the taxpayer dollar only goes so far um a lot of these states are not even being properly funded and you're sitting here and complaining about public public transportation what are you crazy like, what, what are you what are you talking about bro like stop eating mcdonald's put the put the fork down and practice that, okay? You already lost weight, so you understand that, like, now you don't have to deal with any of that stuff. I don't even understand why you're making a video talking about, oh, it sucks that when you're fat. Like, it's just pandering. Like, you're just literally sitting there, and you're, you're not only are you pandering, but you're also a pussy because you're, you're, you're acknowledging that your life is better, but instead of acknowledging that you could tell people, like, hey, listen, I've lost this weight. I'm better now. I no longer have these problems. Instead of telling people that, you're sitting here and you're, you're, you're proclaiming that it was really tough and woes me. It was real sad. Oh, feel bad for me. Oh, virtue signaling out the wazoo to try to make it seem like your life was terrible and disgusting because you were fat. Why don't you bestow upon the information that everybody that if they lose weight, they'll, 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 their life will improve immeasurably as it did for you so like whatever bro go ahead man whole life society has made me feel like i'm not even worthy of a romantic relationship i just kind of think these people are just <sighs> shut the fuck up like I, I, just, I i'm just so sick of people posting on the internet about how they can't do certain things and how sad things are and oh i can't do this i can't do that like don't get me wrong there's mo there's there are times and places where you should be able to complain and that's fine i think complaining is fine i think having the ability to look at somebody and tell them your your honest truth and tell them hey listen dude i'm having this problem it's an issue for me and those are valid a lot of times those are extremely valid but it just kind of comes across as very very like pussyfied when these people are on the internet proclaiming that like bus seats are not big enough or a doctor told them that high blood pressure is bad and you have like type 15 diabetes and like all this other stuff there are ways that you can complain and be valid and then there are other ways you can complain and it just kind of looks like you're pandering or you have like a victim mentality or you're just virtue signaling to the internet so people will like i don't know hit you up in the comment section and tell you no you're pretty exactly the way you are like you're just a pick me ultimately that's all it is um maybe go to your mom maybe go to your dad maybe go to your brother uncle sister whatever you obviously don't got a boyfriend because you're fat and you just proclaim that you're not you're not willing to like, have a romantic relationship or whatever obviously you got no man's is but 
like you should find somebody in your life that you could complain about this with that's not going to be completely judgmental like me or somebody else in the comment section that's going to tell you that you're a bad person for posting this on the internet to try to get sympathy points to try to make yourself feel better so you could sleep well at night without having the uh, the imagination in the back of your head like maybe that high blood pressure that i was fat for like 15 years of my life maybe did something to me maybe the the the, uh, the, the enlargement of all that cholesterol that's built up in my brain is actually like suffocating my thought process to such a degree that i perpetually feel bad for myself and you know what i'm probably just gonna go to the fridge tonight and have like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich real quick and i'm probably gonna top that off with some some pop tots or something like that like that's 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 your thought process i don't care like i don't care that you feel bad that th your life sucked when you were what you say 400 pounds or something like that i know everything's gonna suck at that size dude literally everything you're not even gonna be able to properly play video games because your fingers are so goddamn big that the the idea of doing this is probably gonna get like stuck here because you have extra too much skin that's gonna like stop your finger from doing stuff i don't know it's just like dumb like I, what, are you, what, are you, what are you even doing right now you're such a pick me go ahead though go ahead the debilitating feeling of not being able to find your size in any of the normal stores having to go into a specialized store and paying triple the price just to find clothes that fit you and you got this gay ass music too in the background bro <laughs> like I, you know i'm actually surprised that this person was able to even navigate through the app uh, enough to be able to get here to down to to download tiktok to navigate to the front page to go to the plus icon at the very bottom uh record a video of themselves and add mu music and be able to actually add the subtitles as well i mean i'm surprise that's actually an anomaly i would have thought somebody as retarded as this or let me stop okay let me stop she's not retarded but uh, you know the point i'm making is this like you, your thought process is already so incredibly contaminated with so much disgustingness that i'm surprised that you were even able to navigate to this side of the internet to download the, to, to make this video and, and, and then talk about this particular thing it's just like all of this stuff is I historically dumb um you're literally clothed in ignorance out the wazoo and you're proclaiming that you're oppressed to, to a different degree while living in the most uh privileged society known to man and the entire reason why you were even that size to begin with because you had no you had no impulse control but anyway go ahead living in a smaller body i can see firsthand how differently i am treated good job from when i was 330 pounds to now being 160 pounds down good job by the way 160 pounds down 130 so i'm not bad 330 so that means you're probably around what is that probably 180 she's like 180 ish and it is so sad if you're why do you what do you mean that's so sad you're literally living your best life you you've you've been on the other side you realized that it was not good to be fat and you were dealing with a whole bunch of problems being fat and then you lost weight now you don't have to deal with those problems anymore and now you're saying it's sad if anything it should be like a, a, a momentous occasion you should be putting your hands up in the air and like whoop whoop you know you should be celebrating dude you should be this should be a great time for your life um you no longer have to deal with any of the problems with being that fat and maybe you have like walking now you can walk and you can use your legs more efficiently i don't know why you're saying you're sad you're such a well it's, it's, it's such a it's such a bad thing to say like you're literally still holding water for the other side stop dude experiencing any of the examples holding water for the other side like you're holding water in your legs let me stop i talked about i am so sorry if you have never sorry. experienced the things that i've talked about you are experiencing skinny privilege or okay oh i think there is a time to call people out on their privilege because sometimes people are really, really disconnected from reality and you can hear it sometimes when people talk. And I feel like this person right now proclaiming this stuff is really, really disconnected from reality because for some reason they think that everything is external and nothing can be done for themselves, even though they have literally put themselves in a bracket to lose weight. And whether that be from the, uh, you know, Ozempic or GL1s or whatever they call those things um, in order to lose weight, I don't care. It doesn't really matter to me how you choose to lose your weight as long as you lose a weight um, in a very, in a, in a healthy manner. So. Uh, this person, for some reason, has externalized everything, and I, I don't really care. You know, I just don't really care what this person has to say, to be honest. This is such a this is such a bullshit uh, idea on the spectrum, man. Like you're you're sitting here, you just want me to feel bad for you. Is that what it is? Just start the video and go, guys. Before the video starts, I want to make sure everybody understands. This video is just going to try to get you in your feels. So that way you start to feel bad for me. I'm going to pander. I'm going to victim mentality myself. I'm going to make sure everybody knows that I was literally oppressed for a certain period of time. And I'm also going to make it seem like you're a bad person for not understanding any of this stuff because you never had to go through it because maybe your parents cared enough about you to tell you to lose weight when you were 14 years old and you couldn't get out of bed and none of the kids wanted to play with you because you were so fat that you couldn't even get up out of the chair in order to like go play tag or manhunt. Like, thank you, by the way uh just got to make sure everybody understands that you're just a shit person because you'll never you'll never relate to this by the way obviously you're going to be able to relate to this um and obviously i can relate to it because i'm also thinner um but i'm still going to make you feel bad for it it's just like what are you talking about get out of here get out of my face a thin privilege i don't mean to diminish the struggles that thin people go through versus the struggles that fat people go through on the outside world fat people face a completely different reality than thin people do so you need to stop looking at uh, listen
I understand what you're saying. Fat people do face a different reality. But what is the solution? Is the solution that we should feel bad for them? Uh, is the solution? I guess I could feel bad for them for, for certain things, I suppose. Um, but is the solution for me to pander to them? Is the solution for me to like pray at their feet? Um, you know, kiss kiss them on their stomach folds? Like, what do I do? What, what what exactly am I supposed to do for this? Like, they're facing problems, and I understand they are problems. Finding clothes, not being able to fit in chairs, not being able to fit in boots, having to buy two seats on a plane, uh, not being able to find certain uh, uh, clothing brands that are going to fit them because they want to find clothes that f look good to them, right? I understand. These are problems for them. But what is the solution? Is the solution for me to, like, I don't know, lobby for, like, senators and, and, like, the president to, like, try to make clothes bigger? No, that's not how that works at all, bro. You guys are literally putting yourselves in a bracket of literal unsustainability. It's fine if you want to be fat. Like, I don't care if you want to be fat. That has no issue. I have no issue with that. As long as you understand that these are going to be issues, okay? It's like the equivalent of somebody saying, okay, I'm going to like take this saw and I'm going to chop off my leg. And that's fine if you want to do that. I wouldn't recommend you doing that in the same way that I wouldn't recommend you being fat. But if you acknowledge that if you chop off this leg, you're not going to be able to walk officially anymore. And your life is going to be changed for uh, immeasurably for the rest of your life. As long as you acknowledge that, I mean, if that's what you want to do, I, it is what it is. And the same thing could be said for that person that wants to eat a ton and ton of food. I wouldn't recommend it. I don't think it's a good thing. I wouldn't do it myself. Fuck that. But if you want to do it. I mean, listen, dude, go ahead. Eat yourself to death if that's what you want to do. Um, but I, I don't think it's a good thing. I would never advocate for anybody to do that. I just want you to acknowledge that it's going to be a bad thing. And it's going to be major, major, major problems for the rest of your life. We, as a standard of health, success, who gets to have a spot in this world. The reality is our body is just a body. That's not true. Your body is... Okay, let me ask you a question, okay? If I were to have sex with my girlfriend and she had... And if I was to have sex with her anally, is that equivalent to me having sex with a guy in the butt cheeks uh, anally? Because a butt, butthole is a butthole, right? It's just the same thing naturally, right? No, obviously it's not. Your body is not just a body. And the fact that you could just like throw that down the well and just generalize that in that particular way, your body is supposed to carry you throughout your entire life, okay? And now sure, there are medical interventions that might be able to like facilitate a longer life, you know, transplants and all this other stuff. But we are far away from being able to like artificially implant your brain into some other body or some other thing like in the metaverse or something like that. So where it is right now is your body supposed to carry you. Your body's supposed to be durable enough to maintain you throughout your life. So given that information, why the hell are you sitting here deteriorating it before the time you're even 30 years old? Like you're literally putting decades of, of, of harm and, and disgustingness on, upon your body for no other reason than you want to eat. And I understand maybe you're not thinking about it in that particular way, but to sit there and say your body is just a body is really, really disingenuous. That's incredible. That's incredibly devious to say, but go off queen. Uh, who gets to have a spot in this world? The reality is, our body is just a body. Real beauty, real worth, goes way deeper than what meets the eye. That's true, but you can't expect other people to do that. Like, maybe your mom, maybe your dad, maybe your boyfriend. Oops, sorry. Maybe these people will find you more attractive deep down, but nobody's reading your Wikipedia page to find out how good of a person you are. People use real world things. They're looking at you. They're seeing you. And they're going to judge you based off that stuff. They're not, they're, you're not entitled enough to have somebody look deep inside of you and find out your hidden secrets and, you know, see how cool of a person you are okay with all due respect who are you you know like what are you talking about dude you're a nobody compared to all these other people in the world like why do you expect people to know this stuff is that's ridiculous our bodies change all the time that's true so but why would you want to purposely induce trauma upon your body before you it's supposed to be there it's our eternal beauty that can last a lifetime what does that even mean internal beauty that can last a lifetime what are you talking like farting? I don't know what are you what are you talking about bro what what do you mean internal beauty is it's like ambiguous terms no examples at all Thin privilege and pretty privilege are so a thing. I asked for help finding a size 12 pants with, pant with my shorter inseam and the guy told me the designer the the guy told me the designers probably don't think someone I guess this went on, but thin privilege and pretty privilege are a thing. That is true. This is a fact. Nobody's here to deny this shit. Um, there are plenty of people out there that are very, very attractive that have better treatment than you and I, and that's okay. It is what it is. Um, it just means that you have to work harder in certain areas. That doesn't even necessarily mean that person that is having the benefit of having that pretty privilege even registers it or even thinks it's a good thing at all. Sometimes you don't even know if when you're really, really pretty um, whether or not you got that job because you were qualified for the job or you were just really, really pretty or how do you know the person that's actually dating you really even likes you at all or they just think that you're very, very attractive and they think that dating you is like a cultural, uh, you know, uptick on where they are and societally speaking. Like, you understand what I'm talking about? So I think it's a lot deeper than a lot of people say it is, but it is a thing, 100%. This right here is probably one of the realest uh, things that I've learned after losing over 135 pounds. How did you not know? Like, 
you live in a very – I just – I hate sometimes when people say, like, the very obvious stuff. And then they go, it took me a really long time to understand that. That'd be like if somebody said, um, I started drinking water and I became more hydrated. And then I realized that my health improved drastically. And somebody said, this took me a long time to understand this. And I can't believe it did. Yeah, I can't believe you did either. I can't believe it took you this long to realize that people that are prettier or people that are thinner have better and more access to things in life. Yes, I can't believe that either. It's almost as if we don't build things for fat people, but go off. Uh, just really quickly, I went on a weight loss journey. I lost over 135 pounds. It took me over three years, so it wasn't a fly by night thing cool. like everybody tries to. I'll give her that. 135 pounds, even in what she say five years. I, I don't care. That's great. That's amazing. I'll, I'll give her that. 100. percent Like clap, 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 clap. You did a good job for yourself. Say, is but that, go ahead. Virtue signal. Gonna happen? Oh, you can lose weight so fast. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to work hard. It takes a lot of discipline and work. Yep. But. People treat you differently. It is the grossest part of lo losing weight is seeing how people treat you differently. When I was o morbidly obese. I feel like a lot of people are very, very, like they state the obvious thing. Um, being a very, very pretty girl and then seeing, for instance, how a normal guy is treated on an everyday basis compared to like how a pretty girl is treated is eye-opening right like i remember i was dating this girl very very attractive and i'm not bragging or anything like that but i remember dating this girl and i remember literally every i would say i would say every four or five days um sometimes even multiple times a day though this would happen where somebody would stop this girl that i was dating tap her on the shoulder and go oh my god you're just so pretty you're so gorgeous like you're you're one of the most beautiful people i've ever seen in my life. mostly women um every once in a while you find a random guy going like oh wow you really lucky bro you really luck first of all you don't even know if this woman could literally be beating me this woman could literally be abusing at a daily basis and you're sitting here talking about like oh yeah she's super amazing like it's it's all on the outside but um definitely you see the drastic difference compared to how you're treated and does that make me feel bad about myself no i don't care it is what it is um it is certain people will get treated differently certain people could do certain things and you just may not be able to do that thing but that's okay because you could do other things that other people can't do it's a trade-off just because that person is very very pretty doesn't mean they're not lacking in a certain area um doesn't mean that they're all, just because they're hottie on the outside doesn't mean they're hottie on the inside um but that's not really any way to look at it um, it's just like certain people have different privileges and that's okay. Like, don't look, don't, don't, don't sit there and try to like feel bad about the fact that some people are being treated better than you. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. Um, I'm sure you're amazing in your own way. Just find a way to exercise that as much as humanly possible and work off the benefits that you do have instead of thinking about the benefits that other people do have. Okay. Don't worry about it. Nobody would even look at me. I was disgusting in their eyes. No one would open a door for it's me. It's major projection, by the way. Nobody greeted me when I went to a store. No one gave a shit. Yeah, sh nobody does that for... <laughs> nobody does that in general, okay? Like, nobody's walking into a store and somebody goes, Hi there, wow, you're so... Pr nobody's doing that, okay? So I'm happy that now you're able to experience that stuff. Just kind of goes to show you that, you know, you, you were probably pretty the whole time and that you were just really, really big, so shit about me and then magically when i lost 135 pounds i wouldn't say magically there was a cause and effect right pounds, oh my gosh people greeted me when i walked into a clothing store they asked me what how can how can i help you what size do you need and when i i mean that probably makes a little bit more sense because now you're actually capable of sitting fitting in sizes was 200 and almost 60 pounds I'd walk into a store and no one would say a word to me. Because they were probably thinking like, bro, what are you even doing at this store? Like, you know, we don't sell your size here. That's crazy. Obviously, like, what are you even doing here, bro? Nobody would say a word to me. I would uh, go to a gas station and men would literally like run towards the door just so that they could close it and not have to open it. For oh, come on. That's ridiculous, bro. That's ridiculous, man. What are we talking about right now, dude? Go into a gas station and have this happen is actually insane. What are you, <laughs> what are you talking about? How, what is it different now? Like do, guys are opening the door at the gas station. Oh, wow. Gentlemen, gentlemen, guys. Oh, they're opening doors at gas stations. Crazy. For me, I was nothing to them cool nobody cared and i love that she's like cho I'm, it's so interesting that she's choosing to talk about like men specifically about this like you could very clearly see that uh where her values lie which is fine by the way it's all it's all good to have attention from the opposite sex um but you can very clearly see that this is like very important to her again saddest part about losing weight is just seeing how the public sadly treats people and if you've had the same experience let me know about it in the comment section i also really don't like the way she talks 
Um, if you've had this experience, then let me know about it in the, in the comment section below. Like, I, just, I don't like that long uh, at the end of everything. It's an unfortunate part of losing weight. Well, if anything, it's a benefit because now you're fe now you're seeing the benefits of losing weight. It's not just physically in the sense of like you're feeling better, but it's also outwardly as well. Like other people are seeing you and they're treating you better based off that. And also you have more access to things. That is just how society treats people. Yes. I made a video the other day of me in a swimsuit and I said that I originally hadn't wanted to post it because I didn't like the way my stomach looked. And then in the comments, I mentioned that I recognize that I have thin privilege. By the way, never do that. Like if you're posting a picture of yourself and you're uncomfortable with the way you look and then you have to put in the comment section that you're... You know, like, oh, guys, I know that I have thin privilege or whatever. Like, you're trying to call out the fact that you're privileged in some particular type of way. Like, that's really cringe. Don't do that. Like, it just screams that you're very, very um, – it just screams major insecurity and also screams pick me because you're outlining something that probably nobody ever even thought about even saying. Like, it's so incredibly awkward. Don't do that. It's cringe as fuck. And it was more just about the fact that even confident people can have insecurities. A couple of people commented things like this, kind of wondering what... Yeah, like, why would you put that in the comment section when there's no need for it? Like, people have weird bodies sometimes, or, like, maybe have a gut every once in a while. It's okay. Um, but to sit there and, like, have a, I don't know, like, a, a random, like, detail in the comment section, or, like, a, what do you, what do you want to call it? A, pref a preface that, hey, I know that I'm thin, so, like, you know, just so everybody knows, like, even though I'm fat, I'm still thin, pretty... What are you talking about? Like, what are you virtue signaling right now? Like, why are you trying to make it seem like you're better than everybody? And that is what you're doing. You're putting it down there so that you can acknowledge that you know something that other people don't when most people don't even give a fuck about that shit in general. Like, you're virtue signaling hard, but go off. Thin privileges. So I thought I would talk about it for a second. When I talk this about- This was the pun. This was the ploy the entire time, dude. Just to, just to have the ability to talk about this so somebody would ask a question so you can make this one video, dude. Wow, meta play. Privilege, it's never to say that someone benefiting from that privilege hasn't had a hard life. All it means is that that specific factor of identity has not contributed to the challenges you've faced. For some reason in like our world today, we have to identify that we have I don't know, um, deficiencies in certain places. And sometimes it can be valid depending on the, t the, the where you are, like what you're doing and things like that. Um, but like randomly talking about it on the internet or trying to start up like a, 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 a drum or trying to start up like a, a conversation about it uh, inorganically is just so weird to me. Like it, it's literally oppression Olympics. Like I'm not black. I'm not fat. I know I have thin privilege. Like, we're literally virtue signaling that we have privilege now. Like, it's just crazy, bro. At one point, people were actually complaining about real things. Now we're now we're complaining about not having problems. Like, <laughs> it's just like, I love it. I just love nowadays that we're just like sitting here proclaiming how, how great of people we are. Like, I don't have these issues. Feel bad for me. So, for example, I'm white. My race has not contributed. <laughs> to the challenges I've been through in my life. I think that's an ignorant, ignorant claim. I don't know. Maybe, maybe like for her or whatever. I know that like when I grew up, I grew up in like uh, the hood. I grew up in, you know, the projects and things such and so forth. And I went to public schools here in Boston. And I'm pretty sure if you looked at any of the schools that I went to, with the exception of my elementary school, um, it was all like 99% black, which is fine by the way. Um, but there was no white kids in the entire school. Maybe there was like one other white kid, but he was probably like two or three grades lower than me or something like that. But I would get, I would consistently get bullied for my race and that's fine. I mean, it's not fine to get bullied, but you know what I'm saying? Like it happens, right? Um, I'm not going to ever like sit there and goes, woes me. I was bullied for my, my race or whatever. Um, but it's something that definitely happens. I think it's okay to acknowledge that just because you're white doesn't just because you're white doesn't mean that you're not going to suffer from the injustices of racism or whatever it happens it is like that um by the way if you're one of those people that thinks that black people can't be racist you're fucking retarded so anyway other factors of identity include things like socioeconomic status religion education level things like that so thin privilege is about being thin it's about going into any store and knowing that you can find clothes that fit you. It's about wearing crop tops and bikinis without people telling you how brave you are. It's about eating whatever you want in public without strangers commenting that you shouldn't be eating that. There's a lot more to it, but I hope I that. just really think that none of these things really happen, with the exception of going into stores. But a lot of these people set themselves up for failure going to these stores because they know that they're not going to have the size that they need. So I don't understand. Like, it's like Samira. Like, you know, obviously, they've been to these stores like 50 million times. And every time they go, they always complain about the same thing. Oh, they don't have the clothes. But when they do have the clothes, oh, they don't have the good clothes. But then when they do have the good clothes, oh, they're not put down. Set, they're not put down in the right place. Oh, there's clothes on the floor. Oh, no. Um, no, I've ripped the clothes. It's always like that. Like, these people are complaining about very, very niche topics. And I understand it's okay to claim, it's okay to, to complain about this stuff. I just, I hate it when these people 
like complain about stuff. That's just like things that you can solve yourself. Like if you don't want to be fat or like if you have problems finding clothes, I know that it's like tough to hear this. I know it's very, very tough to hear that losing weight is the optimal solution to find clothes that actually fit you because like you're probably sitting there going oh you're a bad guy because like we should be finding solutions for the people that can't lose weight the percentage of people that can't lose weight um is like very very small like less than one percent um most people that are very very fat can lose weight not sure if you have lipedema or things like that that can't be changed i understand i totally get it those clothes should be pe- there, there there should be clothes for people that have lipedema or like um maybe like people that hold a lot of water in a particular type of way but you have to understand uh, there's a reason why we don't sell one shoe. There's a reason why we don't sell pants with one leg because we're making clothes for the majority of people. And if you have a condition that's very, very extreme, that doesn't affect most of the population, you have to at least understand to one degree or another, you're the exception. Is You're not the rule. And now you could say, but I'm fat and I am the rule. I get that. Why are you fat though? Why did you eat so much to where you are literally so fat that normal people clothes no longer fit for you? And you could also say, well, if I'm fat, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the majority, which is true, um, especially for women right here in America. I understand. Uh, but you also have to understand the the, the the amount of people that shop at that size and up are very few and far between. Now, people that are like a few extra pounds over, let's say, for instance, you're a woman and you should be weighing 130, but you weigh like 180. You're not going to you're not going to find a, a, a lot of hard times finding clothes. Most retailers are going to make clothes for those particular sizes. I don't know how women's sizes work, but let's just say hypothetically that is OK. Um, but once you start going up in higher sizes and like once you get into the twos, the threes, bro, what are you even doing at that point? Like you, you're, you're talking about not being able to find clothes. Um, dude, you're not going to be able to find your life in the next few years. You're so fat. Like these are big ass issues. And now, sure, you can sit there and proclaim that your health is good. I know that you're probably thinking your health is good, but it's not. You're literally dying. But go off. Anyway, I think it's just dumb when I hear these people say this stuff because it's like, look inward. There are things you can do. Instead of telling people... Instead of telling people what they can do to help you, what can you do to help yourself, right? What, what did JFK say to everybody? Uh, Trust not what your country can do for you, but, you know, hey, Boston baked beans or some shit. Whatever the fuck he said. It helps. Thin privilege doesn't have anything to do with you working hard for your body. Too much makeup. Too much makeup. Way too much highlight. Um, it's it's applied correctly, though. She did do a good job. Her eyes are very, very beautiful. A lot of highlight, though. Or going to the gym. I don't understand the term thin privilege because I work hard at the gym and eat healthy. To look the way that I do, it doesn't just happen to most people. I think that this person's probably missing the point uh, because the point is literally retarded. But uh, the point is, like... If you're thin, that means that you don't have to deal with the problems that fat people traditionally have to deal with because you're thin. And it's not saying that you can't, you didn't do anything to achieve the thin status. It's just saying that you'll never have to experience what being fat is, which is, I guess, like, I get it, but it's also retarded because it's like people can relate. And I understand that these are issues that you're having, but it, it's, it's, there's a way of getting across to people. And this is just not it. Thin privilege doesn't have anything to do with you working hard for your body. Or yeah, it's not the way you get to it. Or going to the gym or anything like that. Thin privilege is simply the acknowledgement that people in smaller bodies have a much easier time going through the world than people in larger bodies do. This is true. I mean, it's just, just there's nothing else I can say about that. that. But um, it, what can you do to achieve a thinner body in order to navigate the world successfully? Um, it's obviously not a good thing to be fat. So the world is not going to be put in a place to where being fat is going to be optimal. And as someone who spent the first 28 years of her life in a bigger body and is now in a much smaller body, I am telling you it is a very real thing. But nobody is denying that it's not a real thing. Um, this person probably just didn't understand what you were saying. Nobody is denying that if you're thinner, you're going to be able to walk upstairs more optimally and you're going to have um, more clothing options or you're going to only be able to buy one seat on a plane as opposed to two or three. Nobody's denying these things. It's just like um, it's just like irrelevant to even talk about this stuff, to be honest. Uh, it'd be better if you talked about like what you can do in order to achieve this stuff because everybody, even fat people don't want to be fat. But a lot of people just think it's like useless to lose weight because a lot of people think that going to the gym is like the main solution, but it's not. It's like all about the diet. You can go to the gym all you want, but if you're eating 5,000 calories a day, you're just going to continue to gain weight. You might get a little bit more muscular, sure, but um, you're still historically fat. So it'd be better if you actually talked about what you did or like what people can do to lose weight because it's, it's not going to help anybody to stay in their fat body. And along those same lines, fat phobia is a very real thing as well. As I lost weight, the number one thing that I noticed was how much easier life got for me. Not only were people kinder to me, but the world became so much more accessible for me. Strangers were nicer to me. I was just able to move through life more easily simply because my body was smaller. That's and fine. that is thin privilege. And th that's very general sure it's 
been privilege, sure, because the world in general is not made to be fat. It's, like, no benefit to be fat at all. So, yes, I get it, but, like, would you say nature is fatphobic as well? Because, like, when you walk around in nature, there's going to be trees, and there's going to be, like, woods, and there's going to be, like, animals you have to run from and things like that. Would you say that, like, nature is fatphobic? I don't know. I just, like, uh, the way that these people talk about stuff, it's just so dusty. It's so fucked. It's so, like... You guys are virtue signaling so hard right now, like oppression Olympics to see who has the most oppression. And even the people that have already transcended their oppression still want to proclaim the oppression in some way. It's just, it's so interesting to me, bro. I just don't understand what, like, for a long time it was, like, celebrated when people had accomplishments or, like, they did something great. But now it's, like, we're, <laughs> it's, like, even when we do something great, we still got to reflect back to that time where, we, where our life was shit. That's not to take away from all the hard work that I put in to change my life. I definitely worked hard to get to where I am today. But there are also people in larger bodies who work hard every single day and don't have the privileges afforded to them that people in smaller bodies do just because they're in a bigger body. Well, it's not just because they're in a bigger body. Being in a bigger body is pretty extreme. You're doing a lot of things in order to make that body facilitate that bigger frame. Um, I'm happy that you did the work to lose that weight and you can acknowledge that when you were fatter, you had all these problems, but now that you're thinner, you no longer have these issues. I just don't understand what the benefit of saying like, oh, if they're fatter, they're dealing with a lot of problems um, due to their body. Well, why can't they just do what you did, which is lose weight and then not have these problems anymore instead of like proclaiming that society has all these issues and like literally do nothing about it because what? It's just easier to complain about society than it is to complain about yourself, I guess. Like what is the solution here? Instead of complaining about this, what do we do for that person? I know lots of people in bigger bodies who go to the gym every day, who eat healthily, and are in general very healthy people. But because our society is a fat phobic one, they are treated much differently than I am because I'm in a smaller body and they are in a bigger one. That's true, but like, again, what is the solution? Like, what are these people supposed to do? If they're already going to the gym and eating healthy, then then those things should work themselves out and they should eventually lose weight, right? Or they are losing weight. If they're not losing weight and they're going to the gym and also eating healthy, then none of that is relevant. They're just doing it wrong then, if that's the case. But no, it has nothing to do with working. Like, I'm less concerned. I'm less concerned with, like, the people that are... I'm less concerned with the people that are fat, um, and I'm more concerned with the people that are complaining about being fat. Like, it's more of a, an internal issue. I'm sick of people just, like, externalizing everything and trying to make it seem like they're not the problem. Dude, you are the problem. You are your own issue. Um, start tr stop looking outward and look inward. What can you do to, serve, to, to help yourself? I am because I'm in a smaller body, and they are in a bigger one. So, no, it has nothing to do with working hard. That's not what it – nobody cares about working hard. Like, you found one comment that's, like, in a virtue – that's going to, like, prove your point. But nobody gives a fuck about about that like nobody cares that like this guy worked out in order to achieve his body or whatever like that's irrelevant um we're, we're talking about the people that are already fat and complaining about being fat like that is the solution is to 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 do work i'm sure these people that are fat are like great people like amazing people um but most fat people know that it's not good to be fat it's just like the exceptions it's like the the, the really crazy people on your side that are sitting there telling people that like being fat is okay or whatever um and then proclaiming the the world is fat phobic like yeah duh it has everything to do with acknowledging the fact that because you're in a smaller body, you are naturally afforded privileges that people in bigger bodies are not. Yeah, like everybody knows that though. Like obviously an 18 wheeler is going to have a hard time navigating the roads compared to like a sedan, obviously, right? Like everybody knows that it's going to be difficult to have a giant body walking upstairs. And like I, everybody knows this stuff. Like it's everybody, even baseline, even like plebeians, people that have smooth brains understand this. Um, but what's the solution? What is the solution? Do we just make like stairs obsolete? Like we just elevators everywhere? Or like, do we just get rid of walking entirely? Like, what do we do, dude? Or do we maybe advocate for people to lose weight in a good, good, good way, organic way, healthy way? Um, or do we just keep pandering to these people? Like, what do we do there? And just like I mentioned in this video, it comes- like, You can, to, to acknowledge it as a privilege is crazy because it's like, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a privilege. I would say that it's something that everybody has um, I guess you could say it's a privilege, but it's such a dumbass way of looking at it, dude. What it actually is, is like you, everybody has the ability to have this, but like you just chose not to have it. You're just like, if anything, it's a privilege to not have the privilege because you're eating so much to, to, to get rid of it. It comes down to like inherent biases, right? Go ahead. Like in this video, the outfit that I'm wearing. Because I'm in a smaller body, people are just going to say, oh, that's like a cute, casual, athleisure outfit. But if you have spent time in a bigger body, you will understand that wearing that kind of outfit 
in a bigger body, people will automatically assume that you are lazy, sloppy. I could go on. All because these stereotypes are so ingrained into us. I think it's just too easy for these people to go, it's society, it's this, it's it's never me, it's never what you know what I'm doing to myself. It's 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 always society. Like society saw that I was wearing a bikini and I weigh four hundred pounds, therefore they're looking at me with disgust. It's society. Bro, listen, man, look. Certain things are going to look better on certain people and certain people can pull off certain things that other people can't. Like I can't walk around in my bra and panties. I'm not going to be able to do that and be successfully looked at as a good looking individual. But maybe if a girl did that somewhere, it'd probably be better. It'd be more accepted. Um, certain people could do certain things. Okay. Now, if you're a ginormous old person, you're wearing like, I don't know, like a crop top and skinny jeans and you're busting out the top of them and stuff like that. Like people are probably going to be looking and then that's okay. It's just what it is. If you're wearing something extreme, people are going to look, look at you extreme. Now you could say, oh, but it's not extreme. It's not extreme for like a normal person, but for you it is. Uh, different people have different criteria on what is and what is not extreme. You understand? Like, yeah, whatever. As a society that make it much harder to be a person in a bigger body just trying to live your life. It's not just trying to live your life. Like you're doing something very extreme. I'm sick of these people just sitting there going like we're just trying to ex exist or like we're just trying to live our lives. Bro, if you're going to McDonald's and you're eating a lot of stuff and you're like putting yourselves in this bracket of unhealthy and you're sitting here talking about I'm just trying to live my life. Dude, you're doing something very, very extreme. Like you're literally eating so much that you're making your body unfeasible to, to navigate the world. And then you're complaining that you can't navigate the world. And then I guess you're just trying to live your your life bro that's not the case you're literally doing something very extreme i don't care what anyone says no one will ever convince me that thin privilege is not a real thing because listen yeah, but like nobody is saying that though like i've been thin fat fit pregnant disabled strong and all the sizes what people say how they treat me uh differently was the worst part nobody is like even the comment you're reacting to is not even not acknowledging it like it's such a dumb thing everybody knows that Everybody knows that, like, depending on how you look or, like, the way your body is shaped, you're going to be treated differently. It's such a dumb thing to even say. Like, nobody can tell me that it's not the truth. I know. Everybody already knows this, bro. I don't care what anyone says. No one will ever convince me that thin privilege is not a real thing. Because, listen, I spent my first 28 years. and it This is, like, your number one thing that you always go back to. Like, oh, I was fat for 28 years. Like, subtle brag. Like, oh, yeah, uh, I was fat. But, like, look at me now. Ha, ha, ha. I'm so attractive now. Ha, ha, ha. You guys are fat. Ha, ha, ha. Like, what is it? <laughs> what is it? Why do you keep going back to this? Like, is this is like your number one flex for your whole life like this is what you're gonna be bragging about like on your fucking when you're when you're like about to die or whatever like oh tell my grandchildren tell my great grandchildren that i when well, i was fat for 28 years but i lost it all make sure they know how much of a bad bitch i am like what do you what is this bro why do we <laughs> why is this your, your number one flex bro how many Fortnite wins do you have completely different body than what i'm in now and this me got treated completely differently than this me and the only difference is the size of my body. Yeah, no shit. No shit. And I know- no, And also you're probably a little bit more intelligent, right? Hopefully. Inevitably, people are going to be leaving comments that are like, no, it's just because you're more confident now. People- you No, know it's because you're thinner. No, it is because you're thinner. Uh, or it probably has something to do with you being, you know, more confident and stuff like that. Your legs don't look like they, they're supposed to be on your body, though. It kind of looks like weird. It looks weird. Like if you were making a character and they, they had a legs from like an NPC and they just kind of put them on your legs or I don't know, it's weird treated you the same you just notice it now no what i notice now is just how shitty she was treated just the common courtesies alone that people offer me now in my smaller body blows my mind for example the first time that i noticed someone actively waiting for me to get to the door and like holding the door open for me was probably after i was down like 50 ish pounds and I was people don't hold the door open for me i'm oppressed i'm oppressed guys uh, I can't even believe we're even going here. Like, oh my God, the difference is somebody held the door open for me when I was thinner. I was so confused at what was happening because no one did. What? <laughs> I guess somebody holding a door open for me? Oh, uh, what is going on? Oh, uh, like fucking, you got the Tweety Birds above your head. Like you have no idea what's going on. What are you talking about, bro? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Down like 50-ish pounds and I was so confused at what was happening because no one did that for her. No one did that for her. Yeah, nobody opened the door. Society truly casts people aside just because they're in a bigger body. One example is a door, somebody holding a door for you, bro. And that's like your entire, <laughs> that's your entire example. Oh my God, people, people really, really treat me differently. Somebody held the door open for me when I was thinner. Wow, 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 oppression, crazy. Body. In this body, people are always offering to help me with stuff. Like what? People smile at me more, make eye contact with me, are way more <laughs> likely to just start up random conversations. Okay. And while I appreciate that and it's all really nice, it just makes me think how 
othered I was just because I was in a bigger body. Because people, people that are more attractive get more attention. That's a fact. And if you're, you're identifying more with an attractive individual, then naturally you're going to get more attention. And I, I know it sucks to say that, but there's a reason why people like Bugattis and scat packs um, as opposed to like, I don't know, like Toyota Priuses and, you know, like those sloppy ass cars that like they're good cars, of course, but like everybody wants like, I don't know. Um, you know, like a Model Y or like a, a Lamborghini or like a Scat Pack. You know what I'm talking about? Like these are more attractive looking vehicles. So naturally, um, even though they're not something that people can afford or get not like all the time, they're still more attracted to it. Like when you play video games or whatever, you maybe have a car like on your shelf looking like that or whatever. Um, it is what it is. Like p things that are more attractive are usually going to get more attention. And I know it sucks to say that, but it is what it is. I mean, I don't even know if it's necessarily a bad thing. My personality is exactly the same. I have not changed who I am. Oh, you're still a pick, you were still a pick me back then? Okay. Just what I, just how I live. Society is just set up and is so much. It must be easy to just have all your problems literally be like hand, sh hand waved away by fat phobia. That's awesome. Easier and nicer to people who are in a body who resemble this. And being someone who is in both sizes, I can 100% confidently say that. And no one will ever change my mind. I just don't like it. I just don't like it here, bro. People are so easily, they just love to proclaim how privileged they are and also proclaim that they're also oppressed because of that privilege, which is very, very interesting. But regardless, um, thank you so much, guys, for watching today's video. I appreciate everybody here. You guys are all beautiful, amazing specimens of human being. Um... Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, I appreciate it for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in, let me think about something really quickly. Hold on. Um, geckos. Geckos are cool. I remember there was a game back in the 90s where you played as a gecko. And it was on like the PlayStation 1. It was a cool game. It was a really cool game. I don't, does somebody know the game, the, name of the, the name of the game I'm talking about? You like a green gecko or something like that. You can crawl on walls. I remember that game was really cool. I wish you could play it on like other consoles and things such and so forth. But yeah, uh, geckos. Beautiful specimens of human being. They're cool. They smell good. And uh, I know people get scared of them, but like I think they're pretty all right. Like I, know, I would never get scared of a gecko. I might like get like, oh my God, a gecko. And then I'd be like, oh, it's a gecko. You know, I really could register to me. But uh, your skin is not like a gecko. Your skin is smooth, soft, beautiful, amazing, not green, and also kind of beautiful in a very, very, you know, per, per, very, very majestic way, a very, very, like, divinified way. You have a very nice texture to your skin. You smell good, too. I love your aura. I have, people say that nowadays, right? Like, you have a good energy or whatever the fuck. I don't know what it really means. I guess, like, your personality is cool. I don't know why we say that word now, like, aura, energy. Like, the, the, the way things, like, come and go nowadays is so crazy. Like, I remember growing up, and we would have sayings for like a year but nowadays um i don't know like they they like one week maybe like i i feel like that's like slowly but surely like going down so all our sayings and all our quotes and all this other stuff are slowly going away remember when people were saying giat and remember when people were saying uh what are those like what happened to that it's all gone right or cap nobody's nobody says cap anymore right i don't know do they i don't but you smell really good today um if you want to check out my social media they'll be listed down below enjoy the rest of your day guys